Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. It's a Saturday and this is not my normal day to upload a video to my YouTube channel. But the reason is that a lot of us are now busy with the competition to make a Nerf launcher. And uh, well, this is a great competition. If you don't know what I'm talking about, find the link in the description down below because this is really a very nice competition and you can win very nice prizes as well. But even if you don't win anything, it's fun to make a Nerf launcher. So that said, uh, while we're all busy with creating the Nerf launcher, we have Im immediately found out that resistance on a Nerf is a very, very difficult thing. Uh, they are long and therefore they have a lot of resistance in your barrel. So the longer you make your barrel, the diff more difficult it is to have uh, this barrel, yeah, this Nerf coming out of the barrel. So therefore you need something to make that barrel as smooth as possible from the inside. But that's difficult. So in this video I made, uh, which I'm going to show you now, I show you how you can very easily sandpaper the inside of your barrel. So what you see here is that with normal sandpaper uh, you can make a roll and then you can use this roll to sandpaper the inside of your barrel. But this is a difficult job and uh, well it, it takes very long to sandpaper the inside of your barrel. So there must be a better way to do so. So now I unrolled this sandpaper and you can see already the cut I have here in this sandpaper and there is a reason for. Here I've got a normal copper electric wire. Uh, it's a, a very stiff wire, it's 1.5 uh, millimeters uh, in diameter and uh, well I make a bend in it as you can see here and I make this as small as possible. I hope the camera focuses on it. So you can see I make this a very small bend and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert this wire to the inside of my sandpaper. So you can see here that the wire is on the inside of the sandpaper in the cut I made in the hole, in, in the side. So now when I roll up this sandpaper, I also roll up this copper wire to the inside of this sandpaper. So now this sandpaper has the copper wire inserted and also it will turn as long as I turn this copper wire. So now I use my Dremel tool and the Dremel tool is attached to a, uh, yeah, I don't know how you call this in English, we call it a slung, but it, it's, um, uh, yeah, it makes it flexible, it's a flexible pipe. And I insert now the sandpaper inside my barrel and now when I turn on my uh, Dremel tool you will see it start turning and now I can very easy sand the inside of the barrel. I use a 150 grit sandpaper here, so uh, it's not that uh, fine, but as you will see, because of the very fast rotation, the inside of the barrel becomes very, very smooth, and I really mean very, very smooth. Uh, it's as if you polish it. So now the inside of the barrel is really, really smooth. So I hope you liked this video and you learned a lot about sanding the inside of your barrel. So uh, if so, well, please give this video a like. Also subscribe to my channel and well, I see you guys next week or maybe next Thursday because every Thursday there will be a new video out on my channel. May the best one win and I hope I'm the best, but I don't know. <laughs> May the best one win. Success. Bye bye.